Today I'm going to give you another little tip to help you get your chord changes faster because that's always something that people struggle with when they're learning the guitar. Now so far I've always been telling you that you should be putting your fingers down in finger order. So putting your first finger down, then your second finger, then your third finger. And that's a really, really good way to start getting your chords down. It helps you remember them, it helps them get in a good position, helps you get them onto the fingertips. But it does kind of hinder you a little bit when it comes to doing the changes really quick. So once you get up to, you know, your 20, 25, um, complete changes, sorry, that's, so it's gonna be 50 changes a minute in one minute changes, you really need to start looking at other techniques to help get them right up to proper speed. So what I'm gonna show you now is this, I'm gonna do some close-ups of this thing that I call air changes. And what the whole technique is about is forming the chord shape that you're going to in the air before you get to it. So instead of having the fingers going down finger order, one, two, three, all of your fingers go down at the same time. And it works with any chord, including bar chords, power chords, seven chords, whatever, any, any type of chord is going to work for. It's just a, it's a practicing. It's doing it really slowly and making sure that you get your fingers working all at the same time. So let's have a little bit of a look at a close up and I'll give you some examples of some air changes. So here we are now, I'm gonna hold, I've got a C chord down now. And what we're going for now is a look at C to D, which is an all fingers change type of change. Now when I'm going to D, at the moment you're probably going, well, one, two, three. And if you go back to C, you're probably going one, two, three, which is fine. But what I want you to try doing is this. Now you can see that I'm lifting up all of the fingers, they're moving in the air, ready to go, and then down in the new shape. And we go back to see they're all lifting up together, heading to their new shapes and down. Now I've done these changes hundreds of times so my fingers are fairly sure of where they have to go and I can move them evenly at the same time. But you'd probably find doing what I'm doing now really difficult. But that's good because you've got to learn to do it. Here we go going to G chord. So there's, and back to C. Can you see the way the chord is formed in the air there's the G, it's there, and now I'm just pressing it down. If I go to A minor, here we go, there's the chord, and down. To E is a really easy example because the chord shape stays the same, right? But if we went from E to C, there we go, there, they're all down. Back to G, and just pick the idea here, you could do, you can do what I'm doing now of just like literally doing any chord you like and changing from one to another chord and trying to work on getting the fingers all to go at the same time, it doesn't really matter. You can do it like this, or you can just do pick on one particular change. C to G is always a good one, that's a difficult one for most people. And just sit down and try and get the fingers going. Just doing it slowly like this is quite important. Don't worry about trying to do it fast. Once you can do it, the speed will just start to happen and you'll find that this is the difference once you start looking at the different speed changes, you can see that it becomes really pretty straightforward. It's almost bouncy between the different chord shapes. You just have to know which one you're getting to. Just then when I was trying to do random ones all the time, I kept on forgetting what, or did not thinking about what shape I might go to. So this little exercise is called air changes. You can either incorporate it as part of your one minute changes on a specific pair of chords, or just spend yourself five minutes just working on go doing this change to that change, this chord to that chord to that chord, and just looking at trying to get all the fingers to form in the air before they go down, get them all moving at the same time so that you don't have to get stuck with this one, two, three, four, if you're gonna use it each time that you make a chord change, because that'll really slow you down. So I hope that helps you speed up your chord changes. Next, we're gonna have a look at the one minute changes for this stage. See you in a sec.